Do you know, Mika, one of the... Um I guess the quote that we've been using an awful lot around here and a lot of different things mm -hmm. is from Napoleon uh, when he said, if you're going to take Vienna, then take Vienna. Take Vienna. Exactly. You've given me that advice. I, I have. Well, Vienna is <laughs> one of the few places east of Paris that we haven't sent troops over the past decade. Yeah. But we are involved in a war against the most radical form of Islamic extremism in Syria and Iraq. And if we're at war, if we are at war, then we have to win. How's winning going to be defined? Well, in this case, like in World War II, it's simple. Evil has to lose. Mm -hmm. And right now, ISIS on, is on the march. Mm -hmm. Right now, the beheadings continue. Right now, towns and cities continue to fall. And right now, the terror spreads. Like the American people, you know, I've been supporting the president's steady approach to this war. But now that we're there, it's time the commander-in-chief tears a page out of General Colin Powell's handbook. Because as the former Secretary of State and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs said, when we go to war, we don't want a fair fight. Our military commanders should be allowed to throw everything they have at the enemy, kill and capture their leaders, destroy their war-making machine, and bring our sons and daughters home as fast as possible. Now, you're going to learn today that's not happening in Iraq and Syria. Instead, we have a president who's been accused too much of hand-wringing on domestic policy and is now, as commander-in-chief, like Solomon, seeming intent on splitting the baby. This just won't do. Our weakness is radical Islam strength. We're at war, and it's time we start acting like we're at war, and if we're gonna take Vienna, then take Vienna. But if the president's not willing to do that, and he's not willing to give the commanders what they need to do to get the job done, then just tell us, and bring our sons and daughters home today.